Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, my name is Donna, and for those of you not new, thank you so much for coming back and supporting my channel. I appreciate all of you so, so very much. Today, as you see by the title, the thumbnail, is a collection video. For those of you familiar with my channel, you know that I am trying to bring you guys collection videos sporadically throughout the next couple months, I guess, trying to show you guys what's in my collection so that I can then start a declutter series and declutter this collection that is actually um, overwhelming and madness. I hope that you guys are interested in a collection video because that is what is on the agenda today and if that sounds like something that you're interested in and the things that we're going over also sound like something that you're interested in, please do stay tuned. Just a little disclaimer out there, uh, 411, uh, for your information, I'm a very small YouTuber out here you guys, I do pay for 90% of what comes into my collection but I am also a person who works in the beauty industry I do get gratis therefore there are some items in my collection that I did not pay for and that is how it got here I also get gifts from friends and whatnot this is like what they buy me is makeup because they know that that's what will bring my heart the most joy um, with that being said this is not a collection video to show you what I have to brag about what I have or to make you feel bad or make make you feel like you need to go out and purchase these things yourself a lot of this as a reminder did come to me free so I also hit up all the sales that I can I earn a ton of points from Ulta when I do spend money there and I use my Ulta points for free purchases often I also am a Rouge member of Sephora so I do get some pretty great discounts there uh, when they do have a sale with that being said when I do purchase items I'm relying on my point systems my coupons TJ Maxx Ross Marshalls those kind of discount locations for a lot of what I have brought into my collection almost nothing that is in my collection I paid for full price I hope that that is enough of a disclaimer I hate doing disclaimers at the beginning of the video but I know some people like come into the comment section and are like wow aren't you just you know a real peach just shoving it all in everybody's face and the uh, truth of the matter is is everybody is less consumeristic right now including myself I purchased those things that I've had my eye on for a long time but only if they end up on sale with that being said I do hope that you enjoy the video I do hope that a collection video is what you're looking for today because that's what I've got for you and I'm gonna roll you right into it okay guys we are here today going through my blush and bronzer drawer in my vanity this is my blush and bronzer drawer that sits in my vanity that sits behind me in my videos with that being said we're going to just start. I'm not going to open up every single one and swatch them for you. This video would take nine years to get through, but I will open them up and show you what we're looking at. Okay, so we're going to start over here. This is all uh, bronzers over here. All right, to start off, I do have some cream bronzers. This is by Milk Makeup. This is just a mini of their bronzer stick. I actually got this free in a Sephora order. And then this actually came to me as a sample at some point. I'm just not sure when. This is an ABH contour stick in Mink. I do keep my contour in here as well because there's just only so many places you can put stuff. I also have this by Tarte. It is called The Sculptor. This is, uh, I've used it a few times, but it's just not my fave. It's super red toned. This is in shade two. So that'll probably go in a declutter. And then this I have is my Hula Quickie Contour Stick. I love this. And even though it, it, it looks pretty warm toned, it actually works quite well as a contour stick on me. I really thought, well, this is a bronzer. <laughs> but it actually turned out to work quite well as a contour. And then we go into some palettes here. I do have this one by Smashbox. It is their step-by-step -step contour palette. 
I can't remember why I have this. I think I got this to replace my uh, Shade and Light contour palette, but God, those are so tiny. I recently brought this guy into my life. This is the Belgian Waffles palette by Beach Cosmetics, and I can't at the moment figure out how to get it out of its thing, so I'm not going to open it up. But this has six different highlights and bronzers in this palette from really super light to also, you know, medium dark, I would say that a dark, dark skin tone is not going to be able to use this palette. And then these are just some singles that I have. You have the Hula and Hula Light single. I also have an Ofra contour shade here. And then this is also an Ofra banana powder. I do keep these in here with the bronzers because I also keep my contours in this drawer. So, all right, this came to me in my subscriber buys my makeup. This is the Koki Matte Bronzer. This isn't my favorite. This is very, very orange toned bronzer. So, I mean, I like it to some extent, but I, I cannot wear it all the time because it is so orange toned. I then also have my Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer. This is quite possibly my favorite bronzer on the planet. I do love, love, love this bronzer. It's a good thing because it was super super expensive. This is the Pure Sculptor palette. This I got in a boxy charm a long time ago. You guys can see I've used the poop out of it. I've used every single color in this palette. I think it's an amazing palette and it kind of smells like chocolate, which is weird to me, but uh, this is one of the very few items from Pure that I actually quite like. I wasn't going to keep it either. I remember I accidentally tore it right here. Wasn't going to keep it, but ended up keeping it because I tore the sticker off of there and didn't want to hand it out looking all scrubby, but I, I do like it, so I'm happy to have it in my collection. I have the Park Avenue Princess palette from Tarte. It does look fairly unused, but I promise you I use it quite often. I do love that it's got four different shades for bronzer and contour. One of them, this one being a super great contour shade on me. I don't really dip into these that much, but they're there. I mean, if I want like some kind of finishing powder or setting powder. I have these two Tarte palettes. I have the Tarte Pro Glow and then <laughs> I can't remember what the difference is, but I got both of them, I believe, through Ipsy. See, one of them contains blushes as well. That's right. One of them contains blushes, bronzers, highlights. This would be more of a shimmery blush on me and this would be more of a shimmery bronzer on me. So it's like blush and bronzer in this palette. And then this one contains bronzers and highlights and it does have cream products as well. And you guys can see I hardly have used either one of those at all. I do like them, but I forget that they're in here. I have these two bronzers. This one is by Ofra. It is the bronzer in Versatile Matte. This is actually fairly new to my collection, but you guys can see the giant amount of pan that's in there. I use it almost every single day. I do have this one. Um, this is the Chocolate Soleil by Too Faced. I also use this one quite a bit. Uh, this is Capri Coast by Becca. This came up in my collection via my sample series, and it's actually not a bad bronzer. I do like it quite a lot, but it is a shimmery bronzer, and I don't typically pull for those very often. This is Island Ting by Fenty Beauty. This is one of their Sunstalker bronzers. It's a beautiful bronzer. It does look rather deep for me, but ugh. It looks so, so good on my skin. These two are new to me. This is a MAC bronzing powder, and that is what it looks like. It looks really deep, but it actually looks pretty good on me too. And this one is by Kevin Aquan. This is the Neo Bronzer. And that is what that one looks like. This guy I picked up at TJ Maxx. How beautiful is that? I was so excited to pick that up at TJ Maxx. This one will probably go in a declutter. It is the Bronx contouring palette to go. It is cream products. I don't like it. I started getting into cream products, thought I might like it more, but I still just don't like it. Then I have this one by Pacifica. This came to me in an Ipsy. It is just the bronze rose palette. It's got a, a shimmery blush and a bronzer. I'm not a huge fan of Pacifica. And I also have this Celebutant bronzer by Morphe. This is uh, a bronzer and it says bronzer contour. 
it's definitely not a bronzer and contour it's a bronzer and a highlight for sure then i also have this powder bronzer by abh called rich amber again it looks really dark but it's actually really pretty perfect for my skin tone these are new to me these are my fenty match sticks this is a contour shade called amber this one is kind of a like banana shade called linen and then we have this one called starstruck which i wear would wear more as a blush it's a really pink toned like highlight maybe a blush topper so the rest of these are all blushes and we'll go through those real quick this is by Ciate London. I did get this in an Ipsy. This is in Matchmaker. I did try it for the first time in my sample series. It's a really pretty blush. It's very illuminating blush. I have these two by Pixie. This is in uh, Peach Parfait and this one is in Beach Rose and they're both really beautiful. They're both just uh, shimmery blushes. I don't typically pull for shimmery blushes. This one is by Hourglass and it is in Mood Exposure. Really pretty blush. Uh, what I would say about the Hourglass powders is this little tiny deluxe size, mini size, cost me as much as mini fold size blushes do, but it's lasted forever. These are my two Clinique Cheek Pops. This one is in Fig. I wear it all the time. And then this one is in Heather and it is just a a, a bit more pink. And uh, this is a Tarte blush in Party. This is I'm pretty standard in everybody's collection if I have to be honest. It was a birthday gift at one point in time from I think Sephora. These two blushes are Becca blushes. I did pick them up at TJ Maxx. This one is in Flower child and this one is in songbird they are so so pigmented this one is flower child hopefully you guys can see it is a um, really bright pink shade and then this one songbird is a really pretty bright orange these are both also kind of shimmery I have this Milani blush in Romantic Rose. It was a free gift with purchase from Ulta at one point. It's a really pretty neutral blush. I have this one from Essence. It is one of their satin touch blushes in satin coral and I love coral blushes so that one is really pretty. All right, then I have this one is actually a loose blush and this is by Studio Makeup and it is a luminous loose blush. It is really pretty. It's kind of got this like pinky coral tone and it's definitely very luminous on your uh, cheeks. I don't typically pull for a loose blush, but that is a really pretty one, which is why it's still in my collection. And then this one from Note Cosmetics is in Desert Rose. It is a really pretty coral color. I wear it actually quite often with almost every single orange eye look I do. I love it and it came to me from BoxyCharm. I have this one from Milk Cosmetics. This one is in Work. It is a lip and cheek product but I would wear it as a blush more than I would anything else. I don't like like intermingling <laughs> my products. This is a NARS Super Orgasm Blush. I did pick this up at TG Maxx. I do really think it's pretty and it, it I have not ever had orgasm in my collection before. So this one was my first. My first orgasm. This is by Wet n Wild and this is a blush in Mellow Wine. I believe that this is the one that JC picked up for me in my subscriber vice my makeup. Don't quote me on that, but this is a really pretty blush by Wet n Wild. I don't have much drugstore in my collection, so the ones that I do that I love, I definitely hold on to. These are by Milani. Um, these are their bake blushes, and this is, of course, in Luminoso. And then this one is in Berry Amore. I feel like this one's a little more cool toned, but that is what it looks like. I have this little guy. Um, this is the little Rockateur by Benefit. Benefit came out with these in a, a big thing that you could pick up, you know, for holiday a couple years ago. I saw them uh, actually out this year as well. This is a blush by Bang Beauty. I did get this in an Ipsy. It is a really pretty, it reminds me of Papa Don't Peach by uh, Too Faced. It's a really pretty, like almost duochrome-y um, smoked peach color of blush. And then this one is by Shayna B. Miami. This is in Bellini and that is just a really pretty neutral peachy tone. 
This I got in an Ipsy. It is by Ciate London and it is one of their marbled light blushes and this one is in burnt. So pretty. This is in my project pan. This is a MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Stereo Rose. It is a really pretty pretty blush but man it is old and then I also have this one by Laura Geller this one is in cherry truffle and it is so deep but so pretty and then I have this these these two this one is by Ofra this is part of the Ofra Medicine Miller collection and this one is all I need is love and it is a beautiful coral matte blush and then I have this one by Laura Geller, which is in Tropic Hues. And this one came to me in a boxy charm and it is beautiful. It's kind of got this like pinky, corally, like gold tone to it. This is by MAC. This is in Warm Soul. And this is newer to my collection. Uh, that is what that one looks like. It's just a really pretty neutral tone. Then I have this one by Sugar. Got this one in an Ipsy and I can't even tell you. Oh, it's called Peach Pink. And then this one I got in a BoxyCharm and it is a Make Them Blush blush by Pretty Vulgar in Hush Blush. This is actually what I'm wearing today. And I have three of the ABH trios. This one is in Cocktail Party and it looks like this. This one on the end here is actually not as brown as it appears in the camera. It's actually a pretty deep rosy tone. Then we have this one, which is Pink Passion, and it looks like this. And then we have this one here, which is called Peachy Love. So then I have these. These are by Cover Effects. They are their blush duos, and this one is Mojave Mav. And then this one is Warm Honey. And then I have this, which is my ABH blush kit. And this is in Gradient. I think this was made, um, I say this every time I pull it out, this was made for darker skin tones, obviously, but I loved the color story of this blush kit. So I did pick it up. I have this one from Revolution Beauty. It's just a blush palette. This one is the blush palette in Queen. And it, these are shimmery blushes, so I don't pull from them super often. This one is my Jouer um, Blush Duo in Coquette. That is what it looks like. This actually appears a lot more pink than it is on the face. This is my Marc Jacobs blush, air blush, and this one is in Night Fever and Hot Stuff. It's a duo. That is what it looks like. This is such a pretty blush. I am a fan of Marc Jacobs products, honestly. Then we're getting down there. This one is by Alamar Cosmetics. This is a blush trio that came to me in a boxy charm. This one is in medium tan. And my friend JC got this one and I got the light and I do like a darker blush. So we did trade. And then I do have this, which is full of some singles. These are Benefit. They did like suffer some you know breakage when I was panning them out of these these little tiny dudes here um these are all the balm this one is Ofra no this one is Sydney Grace and Princess this is Ofra in Winter Rose which is funny because that is also what is in here that I am trying to pan currently because I got two of them I don't know how and then this one is Ofra in Pink Satin I also have this palette. This is by Morphe. This actually travels with me quite a bit. This is a really great travel palette because it's got all different tones of blush that you might need. This one is a little bit sparkly and this one is a little bit sparkly, but it's a really great travel palette. As much as I do not like Morphe, I do have a lot of Morphe before I decided I wasn't going to like Morphe anymore. This is the blush palette in 8C and it is Cool Pro, so it's their cool tones. And then I just recently brought this into my collection. This is the BH Cosmetics Bellini palette and this is what this guy looks like. It is six very pretty coral shades. This one looks a little more pink than the others, but oh my god, it's so, so pretty. Brand new to my collection, so. And that, my friends, is my blush and bronzer drawer. I do hope that you enjoyed going through them all with me. I'm going to roll you into the outro. Have an awesome day.
Okay, so we're done with that. I hope that you guys enjoyed the collection video. What did I go over today? What was your favorite piece of my collection? I love everything in my collection, which is going to make it so, so hard to do a declutter, but I cannot wait to get through all these videos so that I can start a declutter with you, my friends. So I do hope that you enjoyed the video today. I do hope that you enjoyed walking through my collection. I do a yearly inventory every year. Well, this year was my first year, let's be honest, but I, I was interested to see how many of every single item I had in my collection. I think it's just overwhelming. It's just too much. So I can't wait to declutter with you all, but first we're going to get through these collection videos. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that if you did, you're considering giving it a big thumbs up. It really does help our channels. It tells YouTube we have something of interest. People are actually watching it and maybe they'll push it out to some other people and it's totally free to do, which makes it even more so amazing. I hope that you liked it or me enough that you're considering subscribing to my channel. If you do that, please don't forget to hit the notification bell. I do upload content three to four times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss anything. So hitting that notification bell is going to make sure that you don't. I hope that you guys are well out there and staying safe. I hope that you guys are wearing your masks because we're never going to get out of this unless we all start wearing our masks. I hope that you're loving each other, but loving each other from afar. And until next time, guys. Bye.